How's it going everyone? My name is Hafo and welcome. Um, I think I'm back. Uh, well, I am back. Well, I'm uploading so that's what counts. Uh, I've took a, I took like a six month break or something like that. I haven't uploaded a tutorial in ages. And uh, I tried doing this tutorial earlier on and I rendered it and I was like, yes, we're ready to go. I was about to upload it and then all of a sudden it was like, I clicked on it to watch it and it, to watch it again just to make sure it was alright. And uh, it had a big fat demo thing on my screen. And the reason was, at the time, I was pretty annoyed with myself. I don't know why, but I deleted my screen recording software. I think it was because I might have updated it. I don't, I don't know. I deleted it anyway. And then I had I re-downloaded one before, and it said demo on the screen. And it was like, oh, my God. Let um, me just appear offline. Let's go. Do not step right. Uh, yeah, so, basically, I just want to thank a guy called Byevo. And uh, basically, he basically just motivated me earlier on. He sent me a message saying, why haven't you done these tutorials? In a nice way, not like demanding, obviously. And I just explained to him, and then he just said, you know, there are people who like really enjoy your tutorials, and it's just down to helping people. And, uh, you know, I'm not doing it for the money or anything like that, but I just want to help you guys. And I am doing editing lessons, if you guys are interested in those. I'm going to do a video properly on them. But if you really do want editing lessons, and that, they so far they've been really good. I mean, the people have really enjoyed them. But, yeah, um... Just let me know either in the like send me a message if you're interested in those. So let's get started. Today we're doing a one clip edit kind of video, and uh, well, what I'm going to show you is how to do like an effect which uh, I've seen in an edit before. I've not seen a tutorial on it. Well, I don't really watch tutorials, but I've not seen anything on it. And uh, it was it's basically about uh, like the door flashes before as the player runs in. So what I've done so far is I've twisted the clip to one percent. I'll show you my settings very quickly up here. Right as you can see, fifty nine point nine four fps and one. Um, basically 1% speed, that's all I've changed, nothing else. Uh, and I've set my layer to frame blending and pixel motion, that's it. Alright, so that's all I've done. And I've added my colour correction onto a separate adjustment layer, and you can download that in the description. Uh, it was my day 3 colour correction. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click new and uh, adjustment layer. There we go. I'm going to drag that below our colour correction, and now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, pen tool, or oh, you can press, I think it's P, no it's G, you can press G, I haven't done this in a while guys, press G on your keyboard and it'll come up, and uh, basically we're going to cut around our door, and you don't have to worry about this moving because it's so slow, uh, it's hardly going to move, so you'll see what I mean. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our comp, uh, go to effects, and then colour correction and curves, it's very simple this guys, it's really easy, um, and I just wanted to start off simple, and I think you guys will respect that, I don't I haven't edited in a long time, so and I finished my exams now, so I got ten weeks off. So maybe, maybe an edit tutorial a week, maybe I don't know. Do you guys want that? Okay, if you guys enjoy it, then let me know. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just change our channel from RGB to red or whatever color you want to do. Just gonna turn that right up. No, actually no. First, sorry, we're gonna keyframe. So we're gonna keyframe what we've got. So no, no like color. Go forward, say half a second, and then bend up the red quite a bit. Now as you'll see that the door's kind of lit up, and then we're going to go forward another, say, 20 frames, or however many frames you want to do, and then click our line again to reset to zero. So as we'll see, if we go over time, the red increases, but it looks very sharp and weird. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to masks and add some feathering, really simple, so like 50. Yeah, that looks much better, or maybe a bit more. Um, just, just what you're looking for, what the kind of effect you're going for is. Try and go for that. So that, there you go. I'll just stick with that just for the tutorial. I mean, round about 50 or 60 looks pretty good. So there you go. It's kind of big. It's kind of it's kind of overlapping the door, which is not what I'm looking for. I want to... So you can resize it, you know, get get the sort of right what you're looking for like that. Um, like that. There we go. Let's do that. That looks fine. So now, as you'll see, if we scroll across, our flash comes up. And you can repeat that and sync it to some music, and it looks really nice, actually. So, uh, right. Now what I like to do is, uh, because I've got my Twixter, what I like to do is I like to give it a bit more effect, just to give it a bit more of a good feel to it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Gaussian Blur. And this is like a very, this is one of my favourite effects, actually. So if I go to New, um, Create a New Adjustment Layer. And I like this effect because it can add a bit of, uh, it can make everything look kind of, like a little more, almost deep, like... It makes everything look as if you've put more effort into it, and it just looks a lot. It makes the thing look a lot nicer as well. So, uh, gonna keyframe our blur at, to zero at the start of our Twixter, and then as Twixter comes in, 
we're going to change it to like a good 3 or 4, so I think I'm going to go 3.5 just to be awkward, like that, and then we're going to go to the end of where our Twixter ends and then change it back to 0, and actually we're going to keyframe it, um, keyframe, and then we're going to change it back to 0. Now this effect, as I say, it's very simple, but as I, I think it really looks nice in a, a one clip edit, and I know loads of you guys are into that sort of stuff, so uh, as you can see what's happened is, it's come in, you've got the door glows, and then it fades back into, it's almost as if he's come back into, it's like he's lost consciousness, or he's gone into like some super mode, his door's flashing like a target lock on, um, I only made it flash once, but you know, if you sync it with music and stuff, it's going to look really nice. And uh, you can also add some other effects to this if you want to add a bit of depth of field to the gun rather than everything else, or just the door left that on blur. That'd look nice as well. So, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know by leaving a comment and like the video if you enjoyed it, that is. Um, you know, if you want to see more of my tutorials, and as I say, please, please leave a comment. And uh, thank you guys for hanging around if you are still, you know, subscribed or whatever. And I hit 4,000 subscribers the other day, which is amazing. So, a few things to say now. Uh, so, remember, uh, editing lessons if you're interested PM me thanks to Evo for getting me more motivated and like stuff like that and yeah so check him out and also uh, just thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed see you later